everybody. Thanks for joining me in my infrared sauna vlog. I hope everybody had an amazing Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving is all about being grateful for our blessings. And I know that this has been a really tough year because of all the devastation, certainly in California. But I mean, I think in the country at large, I think that people have struggled this year across the board. Why? Who knows the real reason why it's been so difficult, but it has. For sure, astrologically, it's been insane. Uh, politically, and there's such division in our country, and it's just a lot to deal with. Whew, so much. So I think the lesson here, and it's a hard one, or it has been, huh, is to try to remain positive and in gratitude even in the face of terrible tragedies and difficult difficult times in our lives you know and so I think I've blogged about this before that what you focus on is what you amplify and so if you focus on the things that you're grateful for even if it's just I have a roof over my head or I have food on my table or you know my house didn't totally burned down or whatever the case is you know whatever it is even if it's just a teeny thing that you can be grateful for in your life that will start to turn things around that will start to energetically bring you back into a positive place okay and that will help you heal the wounds and the pain that you may be going through because you take your mind off of that and you put your mind on what you're grateful for and that's going to amplify. So that'll raise you up and get you out of that dark swamp of despair. <clears throat> I know that's not always easy. And I do have compassion for those who are struggling and suffering. I really do. And I'm going to send blessings to all of you, all of you out there that are still struggling with what's happened in California for sure and my community and like unbelievably but in the country and the world at large I am sending all of you blessings and really pray and I mean I really pray that everyone tries to at least for a moment or two a day look at their blessings and what they have to be grateful for and just focus on giving thanks for that. Whatever it is. Even if it's just a silly little thing. Like I got out of bed today. <laughs> you know, so in the toughest times, that's what's going to help you make it through. That's what's going to help you get out of the, the dark. You know, it's going to help you come into the light. So it's so important. You know, and I think that when we're faced with the most intense struggle and the most intense devastation, that is the time when it's absolutely, absolutely critical to focus on our blessings. You know, it's sounds silly, you know, but it really does make a difference and it really, really works. You know, I understand healing and the need for mourning and the need for processing and the need for being able to process all the pain and suffering and to let it go. But a way to start the process of healing is to spend a little bit of the time focusing what you're still grateful for. You know, it'll keep your vibration higher. It'll help you be able to see things more clearly. It'll help you lift the veil of darkness that a lot of people feel has descended upon them, you know? And so my prayers are going out to all of you that are struggling or suffering. And I'm going to pray and meditate that everybody sees miracles in their lives as we approach the end of this year and this holiday season. I'm going to pray very, very, very strongly about everybody healing from this year's drama and trauma and devastation okay so blessings to you all and oh.